All right, so like a bunch of fans, another private screenings movie. This one's called Venus on Fire, or just Venus. Check it out. All right, we start out in an advertising agency. She's pretty, but she can't sing. But then we're treated to a fantasy sequence where she gets down to her underwear. For no reason. Solution. They have a new product to sell. And it's waiting for us among the clients that we've turned down. Waldo Rich. His suntan cream is called Venus. Person to represent the goddess Venus in everyone's thoughts. Naturally, the campaign will be focused on TV ads. We'll call a session to do the casting. And we certainly hope you'll be free and able to attend. Well, of course, I'll be back. So a party is thrown, and of course, they're looking okay. for tons of girls to try out. Hi, how are you? Hello there. Venus suntan cream, here you go. And so what we'd like you to do is to put this on your skin, I mean, uh, on the breasts, on the face, all over the upper body. Well, the women who do try out have to get topless, which I can't show you. And for really no reason essential to the plot, two of the ladies decided to get together. That's about all I can show you this. Anyway, they move the whole operation to Greece where they're gonna try out a few ladies. They don't know who they're gonna pick. Besides the incredible sights of all the naked women in this movie, there are some actually great scenery scenes as well. This particular woman doesn't want to have sex with this man until it's love. I wonder if you love me, be nice, and wait a little bit more. Anyway, they all arrive on an island. I hope Willie's arrived with the equipment. Oh, good. Now we can get to work. So you come from the ocean. Remember the old legend of the island, Mariana. It says that Venus returns every hundred years to make love with a human being and take him back to her kingdom. So they shoot some parts of the commercial, trying out some ladies. All of them are topless, by the way, or Go nude. The right. Venus loves your body. My first pieces. Ah, but who's talking about Aphrodite? Was speaking of Venus. Ah, well, it's the same thing, Mr. Lee. Is that right? Venus for the Romans, Aphrodite for the Greeks, and Astarte for the Babylonians. She's the same goddess? Of course, but she's also the daughter of Jupiter, the wife of Vulcan, and mother of Apollo. The next scene is hard to show its Venus rising naked from the water. And the woman takes her to meet the director and everything. Please introduce your friend. I think I found a, a striking resemblance. Oh, I see you be belated. Be right with you, honey. Please meet you. We have a zip on a ridge. Please tell us your name. My name is Venus. Pardon? Venus. My name is Venus. No one else is happy to see her, though. Yeah. That's what the agency should have sent us from the beginning. Charming little reflection. Let's go to you. We have to sign up for an appointment. And as for you, thanks a lot for bringing us your little companion. Of course, you. Stella? So, you saw this girl not here out of place just emerge from the sea? But I swear on the Bible, it's incredible. I was with Annie in the sun. Oh, that explains everything. The 
sun must have gone to your head. Venus sees a bunch of statues of herself, which she doesn't appreciate. Sort of sleep with his son. It's impossible, Mr. Rich. Mr. Rich always demands the impossible. She can help you. I'm sure that Miss Venus is very talented in this domain. Venus is not happy with the suntan line using her name. Josh, what do you mean by that? In other words, I'd like you to give it up. I want you to take the name of Venus off your products. You must cancel your project. Every hundred years, the goddess Venus has the right to choose an earth to take him to her kingdom and make love to him. You are not the man that I have chosen. Nevertheless. Venus clearly is making something happen with the pool balls here. And that ad man better be careful. Accepts. But is it really happening or is it a dream? talk about Venus on fire or as the on-screen title said Venus in fact no place says Venus on fire other than the video box that private screenings put out in the late 80s so yeah that's what this is it was a VHS tape put out by private screenings they did a lot of um, you know sex comedy sex erotic thriller type stuff from overseas and slapped titles on them so anyway the original title I think is called just Venus it's a French film uh, which takes place in Greece mostly what we have here is an advertising agency who has to have this new product called Venus uh, Suntan Oil or something like that. And uh, they want to get a Venus actress for the ad campaign. So they get a few girls together. Then they decide, you know what, let's just move all this over to, Fran over to Greece and uh, do it there. So they go to Greece and they start um, shooting some takes of the commercial, trying it, different actresses out, that sort of thing. And then uh, one day... Um, while this woman is sunbathing nude on the beach, suddenly she sees some woman rising from the water. Turns out this is allegedly Venus. Uh, she's come back from wherever she's come. I don't know, she has some underwater kingdom or something. So she's completely naked, coming out of the water. Cool scene. Um, and she rubs oil all over the girl on the beach. And then they take her back to the ad guys and they say, hey, check her out. And she says, my name is Venus. So they're like, Freaked out, like, wow, we're looking for a Venus, and your name is actually Venus. You look like it might be perfect. So they decide maybe they should use her for the ads. Well, all the other actresses, of course, are jealous at this point because they didn't like that. Um, ultimately, though, Venus, uh, she sees, like, statues of herself and everything, and she says, this is horrible. I can't believe people did this to me, blah, blah, blah. So she's like the real Venus, I guess. Um, and then she goes to the ad guy and says, basically, I need you to cancel your campaign. I, I don't want to be associated with this. And, of course, she thinks she's crazy. Um, I think she said something to the effect of, I'm going to make love to you, but it'll only be one time. And then, you know, you, it's like the end of your life or something like that. Um, or you won't exist, I think is what she said after that. And then there was some sort of weirdness going on where they were playing pool and all the pool balls started going crazy. Knocked a guy in the head and presumably killed him, but they didn't really say though. But anyway, ultimately Venus goes up to this other guy named Fabio and says, 
you know, I choose you. I want you to uh, come with me to my kingdom underwater, leave everything behind. And he agrees and he carries her off and they go underwater. But then like a second later, um, Fabio is back with this other girl and she's crying. Oh, I had this horrible dream that you were taken to the bottom of the ocean by, by uh, uh, Venus. And he says, oh, it was just a dream. Anyway, the last scene in the movie is, or almost the last scene is Venus, that same character, Venus, doing the ad and pointing the, uh, just doing the ad for the suntan oil, and that's kind of how it ends. Actually, there was a couple lovemaking scenes from a couple of different couples going on after that, which had nothing to do with the plot, but other than that, that's the film. So, I don't know exactly what was happening here. Um, this is an unbelievable showcase for completely nude women. Beautiful, beautiful women, too. Uh, actresses I never heard of, with the exception of one, a uh, chick by the name of Florence Guerin. She's in this movie. She was in the movie Black Venus, which I reviewed on my old channel, which I'll be re-reviewing at some point on my new channel here. Um, but other than that, I didn't recognize anybody. Don't know who any of these people are, but they look great without their clothes on. I gotta give them that, right? So, and of course, that's exactly why this film was made. So anyway, not available on DVD, just VHS only, private screenings. I made some homemade box out here after I burned a DVD of this, and uh, that's pretty much it. So anyway, highly recommend it if you're looking for beautiful women to get naked. Um, obviously, this is not a pornography pornographic film it's uh there's some soft core stuff going on but that's about it there's some lesbianism too which is pretty cool so it's a titillating film what can i tell you so anyway check it out let me know what you think about it if you anybody ever seen this movie besides me um it does have some good reviews on imdb actually the three people who reviewed it all speak fondly of it so i can't disagree with them so check it out leave some comments watch it bye